G'day mates, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, this time as the UK. Now you might be wondering, aren't you going to go as some stupid fucking minor nation again, and go on some sort of rampage through the Europe, or perhaps through Asia, which would be quite fun. No, because something quite special has been added to Road to 56 recently. Something quite special indeed. If you'd notice, the mages got a little bit of an expansion. Little bit of an expansion. So, there is one reason I am so excited for this, and we are going to go back to doing some miners. I think I'll probably do China after this. We'll see, because I really like to see their tree. Their tree looks quite interesting. Um, you see, France has been updated as well. There's a lot of fun here. And the reason why there's so much fun here, um, we're playing as the UK, I'll show you that last. We've got the US over here. The US has a HUGE tree. All these differences. Also, um, updated continuous focuses, so we've now got all the standard ones. And then, we've got population growth, which is AMAZING as an idea. We've got, uh, civilian, like, specifically for civilians, and then you can go two. Like I said, there's, there's a two version of all of these, which means it costs extra political power. Then there's Armament Excavation, which gives uh, resources. And then there's Army Experience, Air Force, and Navy Experience. Really cool focuses. Um, so yeah, the US is updated. But yeah, the reason why I find this so awesome and interesting, if we continue on, I don't think Japan was updated. I've never really played them, so... Uh, yeah, I don't think this is updated. I think this is the way it's gonna be, little darling. Uh, the Soviets, of course, updated. Now it's a huge split. Look at this. We've got the Lenin cult, the Stalin cult, and the Trotsky coup, right? Three sort of different groups. Uh, although I think both people can do the, uh, yeah, everyone can do Lenin cult, but, uh, you have to choose between Stalin or Trotsky. So, um, yeah, there's all that. Uh, I think we're back around. We've done, do we show France? Oh, we did show France. Um, Italy, the last one. Beauty! Here we go. Italy is actually really cool. They were the other person I was thinking of playing, but you know, I've done a lot of fascism and stuff uh, sort of over on that side. I wanted to do something a little bit different, and that's where Britain comes in. Good old Britain. Um, so you can see you can sort of go down. Unite the people. Persecute fascists. Fascists. Yardy, yardy, yardy. But uh, the reason why I find this so fun is because the majors are all set on non-historical, which means things should go way differently. Like, Road to 56 already makes um, non-historical way more fun. Like, every game is different. You know when I was having the fucking Saddleback pack, like, take on the Allies and all that sort of shit, and the Northern Lights and all that. Like, those awesome factions create really good stories. It's, um, it's the CK2 effect. In CK2, every game is wildly different compared to Hearts of Iron. And I think that's what Hearts of Iron 4 is really good at, is it's sort of alternate history. Hearts of Iron 3 was quite bad at that. Hearts of Iron 3 was, it's, you know, history's gonna go the way it usually went. You know, it's very, it's very hard to sort of change the course, especially because the AI freaked the fuck out if you did. But, um, uh, this, this, the, all these mods and all these major stuff, oh boy, it's gonna make some differences. So, let's get into it. You were, so the UK tree, rather, is split into two lines. We've got the State Visit of Germany and the Third Ministry. Uh, there is no communism line, from what I can see. If we look here, no. No. Um, I'm, I'm just making sure I'm not bloody blind. Yeah, no, there's, there's no communism line. So, what's really cool, the reason why I chose this, I decided on it. Alright, so we go down House of Commons, which I think is, yeah, our only choice for focuses. Alright, also... We need to be able to zoom out. Holy shit, we need to be able to zoom out. Um, cool, just making sure I haven't missed anything. There's our continuous focuses. But, uh, yeah, the reason why the fascist tree is so interesting, right? We go down here, we do all the fascist stuff, we visit states, we become more fascist, we hurrah for the black shirts, then we can either join the Axis, or we can start a new empire. And now the real fun for starting the new empire, here we go, or we can actually go for either of these, is then we can make fascism in Australia, fascism in Canada, fascism in South Africa, fascism in New Zealand, fascism in the Ra. And that is awesome. We can play Puppet King of the uh, fashions. I wish I had the uh, the new DLC. Um, speaking of, when the new DLC comes out, I'll probably play Romania or something like that. I'll play um, one of the new nations with that. Uh, I'll definitely want to have a play around with that. It looks so much fun, that new DLC. Anyway, um, so we go down here, and we can go down, we can support Mexico to become fascist, we can ally with Venezuela, we can uh, start the civil war, 
and then we can go down and we can attack the Americans. The Americans, eventually. We can go, uh, you know, go after Europe, sorry, Europe, Egypt rather, you know, make sure we get that area secured. You know, we'd fortify, oh, we can actually woo Japan. Ooh, that's cool. Um, so we can go after them. Uh, where else? What else we got? We got obviously some colony stuff, and um, a lot of the, a lot of your factory output actually comes from subjugating colonies, which is really nice with this. Uh, and then you go down the road to war. You can fortify Britain, build up the RAF. Right, you get all that. It's all cool. We can get your fighters and all that sort of stuff. Your jet school, and then once you've got all your sort of build up, you can then go down. I think just checking if I missed anything. Nah, and it's sort of like, I wish they'd do like a little separating line so you knew what was what. Like, this is all democratic stuff, this is fascist stuff. But, uh, you eventually come down. There's a lot of things. And also, not all these take 70 days. Most do, but a lot of like 50 days, 50 days, uh, 70. Uh, these are all bad examples. 60, there you go. 60, 45, 50 days. I like the variable days, because it gives you more, uh, more variables to consider when choosing them. Anyway, so eventually you get all the way down here. And then you can go down these different focuses once you've got war propaganda. So you can go down Western Focus, and I see a thing I want to press. <laughs> right, um, we're definitely going down that line, 100%. That looks like good fun. And then we've got uh, good old Ireland. We can uh, then burn some French books, which is hilarious. I like how the tree to go attack France is directly after Ireland, which makes sense. We can then go after the north, you know, we can we can either support fascism or we can just try and kill them. Um, and then you can go down eventually and go down to the eastern focus. Go after Poland, go after Germany, you can go after Turkey and all that. There's just, we can declare war on the world. Actually, one of the most interesting focuses I saw, and I don't know how it works, but if you look over here, our own B-29, aww. Here we go. State of Perpetual Warfare. Every country, German Reich declares war on Soviet Union. I don't know what that means. I'm so confused. Every single country gets the following event. German Reich declares war on Soviet Union. Does that mean every country has Germany declare war on them? Or does every country declare war on Germany? Does every country just see the message that Germany is declaring war on the Soviet Union? Is this just like a way of declaring on the Germans? Do they go to war with... I think that might just be the way of declaring on the Germans, honestly. It's just weirdly written. I don't know what it means, and I want to know. Right, should we actually get into it? We probably should. So, let's start things off with our House of Commons. Lovely! Oh, the dogs are going mental. Alright, and then we've got our uh, division. So, I'm not going to worry about uh, bloody navy too much just yet. I'll worry about it when we get to war. Um, but for now, I'm just going to like leave the navies as they are. Actually, I might, I might sort them out. Yeah, it's probably gonna be worth it. Alright, so I'm gonna pause it here, sort out my navies, and I'll be back. Alrighty, welcome back. So we're gonna keep rolling things in. Here we go, we've now got a combined force of these lads. Uh, what can they do? They're just gonna bloody... shoot up the place. Perfect. Okay, so, whoa! Right, um, Crouching Lemur, continuous focuses. He can decide whether or not manpower reforces were added by events. Sure, let's do it. So, we've now got uh, all of our boys sorted, we've got our lads separated up. Britain doesn't actually start with that many divisions, but I've made sure that any uh, cavalry... Actually, I should switch up these cavalry to tanks as well. Oh shit. Perjurix... Oh, I love, I love, I love, look at this thing. Le Petit Parisien. Wait, why am I getting the French... I assume that's the French magazine... Uh, French newspaper, rather. Cool. Yeah, we switched up all our cavalry to, t uh, cavalry to tanks. We've got uh, some production going on. Oh. A king. We've got a uh, bunch of planes, and then a fuck ton of uh, of boats, nice and ready. Oh shit! Why are we rolling? Also, why the hell have I got day night on? There we go. Whew! Lots better. Also, fog of war. I barely ever use this thing. Anyway, uh, remilitarization of the Rhineland. Oh, we are protesting you. How dare you! I wonder if they'll go and assassinate Hitler. Which is totally an option, by the way. <laughs> oh boy. I kinda wanna do that. Anyway, let's get worried about this game. So, the whole point is, we're gonna go fascist, and we're gonna go start invading the world. We're gonna go secure the world, rather, uh, under our command. House of Commons, here we are. State visit Germany. 
I hope you stay fascist, because otherwise this is going to go weird. Um, now, we can start this off with... Do we want to go fascist demagogue? If we have a look here... That just gives us fascism support. It'll make us fascist... Oh, wow. Yeah, no, 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 no. We just get... Oh, we get a fascist demagogue anyway. No point. Can we even accept it? No. Oh, we can, I guess we can get two, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, it'll be a waste of a focus if, focus if we do. So, let's instead... Ooh. We could totally start opening up, like, conscription and stuff. Maybe we could go, uh, army experience? It's not a bad idea early on. We can get a lot of experience and get our army... Yeah, sure. We'll get our army, uh, you know, ship shape in Bristol fashion. And, uh, make sure that's looking up there. I don't want to dismantle the allies yet. We'll do that by focuses. But we should be good. And I wonder if we can get rid of that, uh... The war to end all wars sort of thing. Yeah, there we go. Road to war, we'll get rid of it. Oh boy. Dog's having a buff. Yeah, you stop that kill. Righto. I'm really excited to see what sort of lines they'll go down. Like the, uh... Is they already going down? What are they going down? Fortification? Oh, I'm gonna need a whole lot of, uh, bloody, what do you call it? Spy power. What do you call it? Decryption to uh, to see what they're doing. All right, state vision to Germany. We're gonna go Battle of Cable Street. Now we actually lose British Stolzism here, so we start to support the right, and we lose uh, ideology drift defense, but we also lose the ability to make factions, right? And uh, later on, we actually get that back if we go down a new empire. We get that back, which is kind of interesting. So we can make our own empire there. Cool. All right, we're also going down the special research lines already. Oh shit, ah, oh, I forgot to organize my bloody, uh... Ah, uh, what do you call them, bastards? Actually, yeah, I suppose I can organize this proper, All right? We can go, here we go. Organize my uh, air units. They're meant to be in units of 60, so they can actually properly help out with uh, combats, right? Meanwhile, these... It fucking infuriates me that the game does that. Like, come on, really? 96... Ah, oh, just make them units of 100 or whatever. I don't want to have to do this every time. So this I have to drop it by four. This I have to put up by twelve. Ugh, it's just annoying. Actually, I want to. Can I type? No, you can't type that. Because you can type the uh, lend lease, but you can't type that. Oh well. Anyway, we got Battle of Cable Street. There we go. We're now becoming fascist. So we can actually we can go visit Italy to get a little boost and make more friends. I feel like we should do that when we when we get the chance. Sure. Can we intervene with the war? I don't think so. I know the uh, the main British line lets you do that. If you go down containment, you can intervene. But uh, yeah, you, I don't think you can intervene as fascist Britain. A bit unfortunate. Sure, good though. Actually, that's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need some uh, salt walkers. Do we have? We don't have the infrastructure guy. No. All right, salt work course it is. Cool. It's all Gucci then. Um, and what was I doing? Bloody planes, that's right, yeah. Please, don't do them like this. Don't do me like that, daddy. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Bloody go like this, or at least give us the uh, same little option that you have for the other menu, we can actually adjust it properly. Now see, that's an alright thing. Oh, Jesus. Hang on, right-wing rhetoric. Hey, we have a noble history, a history that's forgotten under the weak and cowardly rule of the Conservative Party. Uh, we're gonna go the younger generation now. Apparently that means that it's more you just get more events that turn you fascist quicker So younger generation will take up the torch uh, I never really looked into that a lot myself So we'll grab up these top bombs are done already Hey mechanical beauty Computin. Uh Drop this down. So just sorting these out. It's such a bloody pain. Hang on uh, Fuck I keep pressing the wrong button can you actually, is control click? No. Oh, shift click is how you do it. Oh, that would have bloody well helped. Okay, we'll remember that in the future. So, what are we going down now? We, oh, I always want to get that radio direction finding. It's such a good technology. Getting rid of partisans is invaluable. We'll keep doing a tech like that then, and we'll go down. We'll go visit Italy. Let's make friends. Little Italy. Um, let's bump you up to 100. Cool, it's all the fighters around here, we'll finish up that. This violates the Vesalius Treaty! Now if we look at Germany, they've got a uh, little bit of an interesting thing. Oh, they're going down in... Now what was that? Oh, right, volunteers. Um, 
yeah, they've got this sort of thing. First V8 looks a little bit weird the way it sort of sits there, but I assume they just have to... Wait, it requires the Anschluss? Oh, this tree has been, like, squashed weirdly. That's so weird. Okay. Hey, state visit to Germany. Right. State visit to Germany. Hurrah for the black shirts. Like, we turn fascist so quickly. We're already getting 10% a day, and that's with 50% uh, skull. Oh. Holy shit. Okay, fascist sympathy. Uh, Sweden's rejecting the island. Leadership purges. Huzzah. And we have 20 billion navies. Now, what was I doing? I was sorting out planes, weren't I? Yes. Excellent. Uh, we'll do 50 maritime patrol. Wait, we aren't actually producing any of those. We're going to put them down to three again. I don't understand why maritime patrols even exist. Hey, there goes Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Now, for torpedo bubbles, I'm not sure if 60 is still the like preferred amount. I think it's just groups of 100 are good. So, I'm leaving as 100. Now, we're going to go... We could grab this guy, but he's actually going to slow down how our ideology drifts. So, I might go for someone else. Grab a uh, maneuver. Oh yeah, Alan Brooke, give me that 15% speed. Hell yeah. Because we want to make a mobile army, right? We're going to be rolling around the world, taking shit out. It's going to be a good old time. Get rid of the cavalry. Hurrah right for the black shirts. Right, we can go a new empire. Here we go. Leaves the allies, gains British stoicism. Beautiful. We're going to try and make our colonies fascist as quickly as possible. Get our industry up and running. And what was the other thing we're doing? Finishing up the planes here. You're done, you're done. Okay, cool. What other planes have we got around the place? We've got some in Egypt, don't we? Yup. Alright. Oh! The Prime Minister... Uh, Prime Minister Baldwin has made it quite clear that the dignity of the King Emperor will be impinged if he was... Impinged, rather, if he were married not just a commoner, uh, but also a divorcee. And if that were not bad enough, an American. After much soul-searching, His Majesty has chosen love over duty and has chosen to abdicate. His younger brother Albert will assume the mantle as uh, King George... I think it's six. Yeah, King George six. Um, London bookmakers are already taking odds on whether this shy man will make it to his own coronation. Aww. Poor bastard. Alright, beauty. There we go. Sort all these out. Get these up there. Loving it. Alright, what other books are we... Uh, what other places have we got planes in? Got planes around there. Oh, God. oh no, it's all on the HMSs. Never mind. Hey, fascist assault divisions. That's only going to make it go even faster. D do we keep those? Those disappear when we become, uh... What's it called? When we become fascist, don't they? Do they? I think they do. Because I just like it because it gives you a little bit of extra, uh... Population. Fascist demands referendum. Huzzah! Apparently we had a, a non-aggression pact with Iran that they just cancelled. Alright. Oh, wait, yeah, I just realised. Persia chose Britain or something was like actually affecting us. Normally I ignore that, but I probably should have read that. Oops. Um, right. We want to hold the referendum. Huzzah! Oh boy, we got Mosley in charge. Oh, he's not actually a shitty invader anymore. It used to be it was like an inexperienced imperialist or something. Look at that flag. Oh boy. And then if we look over at Germany, actually, there's something quite fun. Um... Hitler's got a new trait. He's now got Stubborn, which reduces his political power gain, actually. Reduces his defense and reduces his organization. Actually makes him a lot worse, which is a bit unfortunate. And it gives you a good reason to kill Hitler and get rid of him. Um, now, let's go. We could go road to war. Ooh, it's nice. But I feel like I'd rather go... We could subjugate the colonies immediately. What's it? 70 days, 70 days, 45... Yeah, let, let's go down Dominion first. It's only 60 days to start turning our boys fascist, so let's start doing it. Get them fascist, get them right and ready, and uh, we can look after things things then, rather. Alright, stick some anti-airs in. Hey, improved machining tools. Oh, we're gonna need, um... What do you call them? We're gonna need to research the hospital divisions. Here we are. Hey, Return of the King! It is no secret that there is no love lost, uh, that no love is lost between George VI and the British Union of Fascists. Voices in Parliament are now willing to call for his resignation in favour of his exiled brother, Edward the Ninth. Sorry, Eighth. What am I saying? Um, this is a man less foreign to the idea of unity through strength, a man with vision for England. Here's the qualities we seek in the leader of our nation. Uh. No, we don't want that. No, we we don't want him because that's a bad idea. First of all, we would lose political... Where is it? 
We don't have the guy. What? We would lose Spirit George Six, but we don't. We don't got him. Okay. Oh no. Oh, it's just under national unity. Okay. Um, I don't want that because he's a shitty leader. Like, sure he gives some national unity. Sure he gives some justified war goal time dropping. But wow, I can't do without that political power. No, 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 no. Um, we will not interfere with Parliament, which means we just gain the national spirit anyway. What? Oh, I think it's like the difference between letting him rule and letting him just sort of be around. Sure. Cool, we've got him around. So we still lost the national unity, but instead we got some uh, ideology drift defense, which doesn't really bloody matter. So, we can go straight down army tech. No, we're going we're to go down straight down the means and try and get that uh, the super soldiers. Although, we can actually go through this tree and go for super soldiers as well. I feel like this is the tree we want, though. Reinforce rate, research time, division tree. Yep, sure. We're going down here. Beautiful. All right. Um, we Now, what are we going to do? We want to go more... Oh, yeah, I just want to go always the political power text. Just boost that political power beyond the roof, and we get things nice and sorted. Hey, Rolls-Royce. Probably should get our doctrines in fact, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's start doing that. Right, I was doing something with planes, weren't I? Let's keep sorting these out. Grab those as well. The Yorkshire's are done. Adam's gonna be done. Palestine. Cool. Alright, we'll hold up real quick. We'll clean these up. So, you're good. You need to go to 100. You need to go to 60. Loving it. You need to go to 100. You need to go to 60. And that is sorted. Cool. Dominion focus. Let's make fascist Australia. Here we go. Australia's been very useful to us and will continue to be as long as they stand under our influence. We cannot allow them to succumb to American or Japanese influence. Oh, wow. It also changes fascism by 20%. Let's just go and give a little helping hand since we have how much political power? 1.4 a day. Hey, Australia. Have you heard the good word of being Australia? Also, I like how I can't actually ask my puppet to make a faction, despite the fact they're my fucking puppet. So shut the fuck up and join me! JOIN ME! Actually, what's rather cool is the Philippines as a tree. The Philippines tree is quite impressive. Anyway, um, where are we going, bloody... What's we doing? What are we not producing? We're not producing- Oh, we're not making artillery? What the fuck? God damn, I knew we were missing something. Alright, we'll drop this down there. Start making four of that. Cool. Hey, the humanity and Nash Nashin Ron. So, they're going to go after colonies, basically. Western colonies. Oh, boy. That's going to be fun. Fascism in Australia. Huzzah! Right, we're going to go down Canada next. Or New Zealand. Nah, let's go Let's go Canada next to, uh, what's it called? Make sure we get these boys before the Americans can start affecting them. So far, oh shit, already the Americans affecting them. They've put the, uh, they've got US influence under them. Alright, let's go... Oh shit, we got, uh, we need resources. What resources do we need? Oil one. And yeah, we're trading with Venezuela, not the, uh, the US, of course. How are our boys trained up? Oh, guys are trained. Probably should stop that then. I'm also just gonna get these guys trained, so at least, like, you know, the, uh, North Rhodesian groups. That's somewhat okay. We've got we've got a, an old guard in charge because he wasn't really worth much, and uh, he gives a little bit of extra entrenchment, which I don't really care for. You know, one way or the other. Also, with oh, I think I'll hold off. I'll just hold off a little bit longer. Man, had we just um, I think because the oh no no I oh, know a peace deal sorry makes stuff go up. If we, if we just hold off a little bit longer, we can buy that sweet sweet power, or we could just go cultural norms, get even more political power. Which is currently being reduced by, uh... Australia seeks... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. In a speech this morning, Prime Minister John Curtin announced the Australian government's dedication to growth and stability as an oceanic state. This means they're looking to new shores than those of Britain's Europe. Never another Gallipoli. Ne they choose now to seek greater independence. Lads, I can't help but notice. Right. They're banning the... Oh! They might just be going fascist. Allo, allo, allo. Oh shit, they actually have to increase their autonomy to do that. G good job. But they haven't actually severed ties with the UK, so that's good. Alright, well, fair enough. 
The good thing about these- oh shit, I need to keep doing the trees. Um, the good thing about these is they also reduce their daily autonomy. We're gonna make South Africa fascist next. Because that way they can hopefully go down that tr that line. The, uh, the Bundwinds or whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called. Alright, what do we want to do here? We want to go... Also, I feel like I kind of want to put some anti-air with my troops. Maybe I want to make anti-air and stick them with my tr Although, I guess we have air power, don't we? Hmm. Because I'd just like- i like to have five divisions. So, 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 five support divisions with our troops. So, so right now we've got four. We could put anti-air as the fourth, or we could put, like, logistics? Supply? Let's make it supply. So let's make it uh, so they can function in the low supplies area a little bit better. So we're going to whack up these couple of military factories, spread them out, and then we're going to go, actually we'll build a couple of bloody civvy factories while we're at it, cool, and then we're going to go down and finish it off with a few naval dockyards everywhere, and we'll make some in Northern Ireland too, sure, all good, and actually that's what we'll do, is we'll build some in Australia, because fuck it, oh what? Well, Oh, we can't build this? Of course, because they're our Dominion, right. We do want to keep the Ra underfoot, though, so we want to make sure we keep building here. That's why I want to rush down and grab, uh... Hang on, we're about to get... Hey, fascism is done. Alright, fascism and the Ra is next, because we want to make sure they cannot escape from us, right? Marco Polo bridge incidents. Hey, the Little Entente? Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Sometimes I forget I'm playing the UK and that, you know, of course they're not going to ally with me because I'm fucking fascist. <laughs> No wonder they're going a little Entente. Fair enough. They're going the French Entente Alliance, which means they're with Czechoslovakia. And that's it. Whoa! I just looked at Czechoslovakia. Look at all those things. Holy shit. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So what so what tree are they going down? They're going down support deadly. Deadly. They're still going down uh Yeah, Little Entente. Yeah, they they're going democratic. How is Germany going? Have they done a hey, grand paddle plan? Ooh, Germanized Lithuania? Ooh. Oh, that just means invade. Never mind. Um, what? They're, they're actually going neutral. This is like one of the few things that can make you neutral. They are actually going neutrality. Holy shit, that's impressive. They're, rally they're rallying the monarchists. Hopefully the Kaiser can return. That's really cool. Now, have we got... Oh, fucking really? Come on. Declare war, Japan. Come on. I'm gonna hold off till Japan does, and then we'll get that. Hey, the means. Let's go down division attrition. The other ones, what this? Factories, factories, resource. Yeah, common cause. Cool. Ah, oh, come on. There ought to be something. Declare war on someone, please. Fascism in the Ra. Also, I feel like we should we should definitely make a bunch of. I want to get like jungle specialist troops. We should make a bunch of really cool divisions. Paratroopers for sure. Let's just start. Um, is there anything else we want to do? I guess we want to get better tanks. Yeah, we'll get better tanks first. Once we get that spare slot, how do we get spare science? Oh, there it is. Okay, we'll make New Zealand fascists as well, and then we'll go for the road to war. And grab that spare science, and we'll put that slot towards just upgrading uh, all sorts. Alright, fuck this. I'm going to go back and back step. Never mind. Never mind. Thank God. This newspaper blocked me from pressing it. Push. Alright, Japan's at war with China. The conflict in China is right. Are you kidding me? They're, we're going to be best of mates with China. Uh, sorry, Japan, rather. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. Um, let's go down. So what are you doing, bloody? Got that, got that. Oh, we want to make sure we have the invasion techs. Can't go for those yet, never mind. Um, want to make sure we're boosting up our fighters. Keep them with the modern standards. See, Britain is good because you can go for all sort of uh, sides of the equation. But man, I feel like Road to 56 needs to just toss you one more research box. Or maybe make their research techs, like the ones in the extended tree, just a little bit cheaper. Because, God, you can get bogged down so easy if you don't go stupid, ridiculous uh, research. Like, <laughs> if you don't go the scientist enclave, basically. Oh boy, I just realized how shit these divisions are. Let's fix these up. Okay, and stick some... Oh, crap. All right. Halfway there. Whoa, whoa. Living on a prayer. Cool. Road to war. Um, we're going to boost up our colonial garrisons as well. Make sure they're ship shape. Going to need some more uh, manpower, though. Bloody hell. 
Why are we still boosting ideology in Australia? Let's stop this. That that was a silly idea. Thank you. We can request their forces. Ooh. All right. None too bad there. Not too bad at all. So the thing is, I wonder if they get... Will they skip it if they become folk, uh, fascist or something? I hope so. Because otherwise they're going to be locked out of their cool tree. To be fair, their cool tree involves invading the other puppet. So that might be a little bit frustrating. Um, right. What do we want to do? Let's start going down like... Uh, these... I, I always leave these research and production people too late. I should always go down them first. So, let's probably go material designer. Sure, material designer first. Get the end fields. It's all good. We've got that looked after. Oh shit, our colonials. Are you done? <laughs> all of our colonials are now friggin' regular ones with 25... Oh, god damn. Alright. Yeah, you can you can wait. Divisions. It's all good. Cool. Oh, these guys all had to get a little bit of training back. Go on. Just, just get above that limit. They're so close. I believe in you! I believe! Beautiful. Alright. Anglo-Irish trade war ends. That's all good. Yeah, so we're gonna need one more um, specialty type. I think we'll probably go for, like, the supplies. Road to war. And then we're gonna need 25 to start buying up that. Extra research slot. Woo! But yeah, what's the, uh, thing? It's... Logistics company that reduces supply usage, yeah. It can get them seriously low. Like, if you have a level... What's that? Seven? One, two, three... Oh, oh shit, hang on. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Okay, so that's seven of them. Starts for ten. So you can get a minus 70% on supply consumption by the end of the game. You can fit ridiculous people into tiny, tiny places with no food. It's great. Um... We could grab all that. Nah, let's go grab our logistics boys. There we go. And we'll probably get some more planes as well, get the common cause, get our doctrine, yep. And in a moment we'll have our next level. Ooh, we can actually train divisions. Oh shit, we got manpower. Okay. I really do want to go for that manpower growth continuous focus at the end of the game though. That sounds like great fun. Just a uh, massive increase in the amount of manpower you get. We can upgrade the CV fighters as well. We go upgrade the bombers. Hmm. I like all of these. We get the fighters upgraded. Um, we'll go change up that lad. Outdated equipment. There we go. And let's train ourselves two tank divisions. Stick them in London and a couple of infantry. Say so five divisions. Actually, no. We're going to cut down on that because we want to start researching like alternate infantry divisions, right? We want to have our, uh, our jungle boys, our Jaeger bombs, our uh, what do you call them? A mountaineers? I'm not really... Should we go mountaineers? Ah, oh, fuck it. We should build a division of every type and then have a... We should have a general who has a division of every single type. Like, of all the, uh, possible divisions. Now, we could go down here. Oh, here we go. Obviously British Malaya, of course. Um... How soon... Shit, we have to wait until next year to actually go after America. Alright, tell you what. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go after Imperial Ambitions, and we go down straight for America. Basically, my plan is to knock America out before they can be a proper power. So, uh... We go down, where we got? Grab the next bomber. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Stop. What am I, I, I knew exactly what that was for, and I still just did that stupid thing. Marines, thank you. Cool. Um, yeah, we can go down and deal with America first, before they become a world superpower. You know, it's like dealing... <laughs> the back to the future solution basically here we go down here cool alrighty so in preparation for that yeah I think we're gonna have to knock out uh, we'll have to make Mexico fascist and we'll assault from the south and go in and hopefully they're still isolated oof no they're preparing for war I mean in the Pacific though let's have a look at wait are they going no They're bloody commies. Oh, now, now we got a bone to pick with them. Oh boy. Oh no. Bloody America's gone communist. Right. Can we get the fucking... Oh, we still can't get the bloody mobile infantry. Mobile infantry. Mobile one. Oh, hello, hello. British Rock and reduced to a puppet. 
Oh my god, they're all going down. This is perfect. Hang on. Go back here. Manage subjects. Um, oh, fuck, that costs a lot. I would prefer you to be a colony, though. Oh, changing you from Dominion to Puppet? And you're a colony. Oh, to change you to a Puppet is super easy. There we go, cool. So that should give me a little bit more defense against all those focuses that try and break them free. Um, should also give me a little bit more. We should probably subjugate the colony, shouldn't we? Alright, we'll start making Mexico fascist first before we uh, trigger the civil war. Um, now, where are we? I want to go... Oh, we only have medium tank designers? Hmm, not alright. Um, maybe we can go... Light aircraft? Yeah, that's fair. Alright, light aircraft. Wait for a little bit more political power there. And hey, we've got enough... Oh shit, let's just switch it out. Bloody, there we go. Cool, we've now got motorized there. Now what aren't we doing? Oh, we got bloody uh, new planes to build, don't we? What? Reorganized Nationalist China? Oh, that's one of the governments. Right, never mind. Uh, this wants to be replaced with the new carrier fighter. There we are. I think that's all good. And what tech are we researching? We could re keep researching this stuff. Let's get the bombers. And we can make a... What's this? Marine bomber. Oh, it's a marine bomber. Okay, cool. So we can go grab that. I want to get the uh, fighter bombers, though. Those things are good. Very, very good. Top tier stuff, honestly. Tip top shape, lads. Gonna grab some more artillery. Gonna grab some more tanks. Fighters specifically. Bit of torpedo bombers. Dog bombers doing good. We'll stick like that. Alright, cool. So we've got two lines and all of that. We've got a bunch more tanks coming up. We should switch them like that. There we go. Make a bunch more motorized as well. Cool. We're producing all the good things. Now, we can go down Infiltration, or we can go down this, which gives us tank bonuses, I think. Gives us max planning. Recon, land night, supply consumption. I mean, we don't really got to worry about supply consumption because we've already got the, uh... Hang on, hang on. Is it possible to get to minus 100% supply consumption? If you have level 7 supply divisions, if you have Infiltration Assault, if you have, like, a national focus, maybe? Oh, well, that's something I gotta do. Let's see if you can get divisions that will never, ever run out of supply. <gasps> you could be surrounded and be completely effective still. That would be amazing. All right, anyway, let's keep rolling. Um, you boys, yeah, we're going down mechanized offensive. Oh, shit, Dominion and Canada can go down as well. Yeah, these both cost a fair bit. We'll leave them for now. And I think that's where we'll leave it for this good part here. We're actually, we've got armed divisions, we're ready. We'll, okay, here we go. We're about to support the Mexicans, so we got to wait for them to become super nice. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The Federal Republic. Oh, no, 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 hombre. They defeated fascism, fuck off. No. They went down a liberal tree. Ah, oh, shit. They did too. Motherfucker. Oh, because they dropped their ideology. Drift defense. Clever. So, you know what? I'm still going to offer the alliance to them. And I'm going to try and get them back to being uh, fascist. But I want to go and get subjugate the colonies soon. Let's just try it. But that's where we'll leave it for now. So, next time, we'll pop back up with that new thing. Let's just send you some fascism. Is there anything that's going to stop me? They've got... Oh, no. They've still got super low ideologi ideological drift defense. Which means, hopefully, the drift should be nice and quick. I mean, sure, they are still getting affected by this, but, uh, ah, oh, well, we'll see. Hopefully it'll sort of even out. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. What a bloody lovely game. This is, uh, gonna be interesting. I, I quite like playing mages very differently. The world is turning out so strangely. You know, America's going fascist. Germany is going to go, uh, friggin' independent. Non-aligned. Come on. And then we've got, uh, all the puppets, of course, switching to, to the glory of fascism. So until next time everyone, I've been Rumi, and this has been the British Empire. I'll see you next time.